vehicle is turning left. First gear, moving off, no traffic threatening at junction. Moving off, bandit vehicles accelerating, selecting more responsive gear. Second gear, third gear, red metro ahead. Bandit vehicle is going on an overtake. Moving out to get more vision, road ahead is clear. Committing through, bandit vehicle is going left. No traffic threatening at roundabout, turning left. Pedestrian on dog is on left, dog is on a lead. Moving off, turning left. Changing road surface, direction sign. Second gear, bandit vehicle is accelerating. Third gear, roundabout. Bandit car is braking at roundabout. Brakes, mirror, bandit vehicle is stopped at junction. HGV is approaching from the right. Brakes, HGV is threatening from right. Has seen me, no, no, he's not holding. Brake, first gear, second gear, moving off, round roundabout. No sign of bandit car, I've lost him. Take the next exit and park on. Yes, sir. Any comments, Mike? I blew it, but it wasn't going to stop. It didn't slow down until he was in front of me. I was watching him, so I lost the bandit car. And uh, why didn't the HGV hold for you? He selected the wrong lane. He didn't show the truck the nose of the car. The truck driver was all over the place. He needed to be told, but Mike never made it clear what he wanted him to do. Jackie? It looked 50-50 to me. There was a gap. If we'd have been in a marked car like last week, the truck would have let him through. In this, Mike needed to impose himself. Yes, uh, thanks, John. Uh, you've had your say. Anything else, Jackie? No, I couldn't see enough from here. OK, let's uh, change drivers. Oscar. Yeah, go ahead, George. Eight Newby House, Wennell Street. Disturbance, can you deal? Yeah, on way. Come on, Debbie. Right, I heard. Had to get this for Mike. It's his last day at the driving school tomorrow. Rather him than me. So how bad is the final drive? Worst hour of my life. Spend a month on the course, you make one bad mistake on the final drive, you fail. I guess so in time. I'm going to Hendon tomorrow. I'll take you for you. Brilliant. I wasn't too impressive this afternoon, was I? No, but you know where you went wrong, so there's no reason for it to happen again. Yeah, but if I do something like that on my final drive... Well, that's easy. Don't. And don't brood on it. Every time you cock up, you let it get to you. That's the worst thing you can do. Yeah. Look, I know you can put together a properly structured drive, and so do you. As long as the inspector sees that. Well, it's up to you to make him see it. Sounds a bit lively. Yeah? Look, we don't need the police. It's just my daughter. We're ignoring it. Lisa, don't you throw nothing. It's the police! Leave him the street. What's the problem? Uh, it is not. She thinks she can blah, do what blah, she blah, likes. Blah, blah. All right. What's your name? Marie Ingram. And yours? Lisa Ingram. Look, all I want to do is go out with my boyfriend. Right? Not tonight, you don't. Hey, hey, hey! hey. It's enough of that. And how old are you? Fourteen. How old are you? What's the matter how old I am? She's 13. I don't know what it is about this family that makes you all want to lie about your age. I'm not staying in. It's her dad's birthday. Boring, boring, full age. Can you agree on an evening when Lisa can go out? Yeah, any night, except tonight. It's fair enough, Lisa. She's just saying it to get rid of him. Will you stay in this evening? If I have to. But I'm going out Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, right then. We'll leave you to it. Keep the noise down, all right? No, I'm sorry about that. She's just that age. You think next time you could try and sort it out yourselves without us? I mean, from outside, it sounds like someone's being killed in here. Yeah, but she'll listen to you because you're a bloke and you're, you know, older. Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay, yeah, take care. You're off now, John. I'm going to have a swim first and then I'm going to shoot. It's all right for you. We can't all live up the road from Hendon. I thought you and Mike were having a good time in the accommodation block. You should be so lucky. There's a quiz on at my local, I'm one of that. Do you fancy it? A quiz? Mm, I don't know. I guess it's out of here, doesn't it? Come on. He's come over all decisive. There's all for you yet, Mike. 
What time are you going? About eight. I'll see you in car park three, yeah? Who wants to sign this for Mike? Yeah, you all right. <laughs> you don't pass. Don't bother coming back. You can't put that. I well, just have, haven't I? Hey, look. If David got the place on the course and Mike had been sitting there, he'd have put something like that. Yeah, yeah, right. He doesn't want a message from me. I'll sign it, um, Andrew Munro. <laughs> Very funny. I guess it is. One month at £147 a day, and I want it all back if you fail. C. Brown, love. Rich? Are you going to get it to Mike? The post is already gone. Tony's taking it. He's going to driving school tomorrow. Yeah, what for? Could be reassessment. No, if he's been reassessed, he'd have said. I wouldn't. No, it's like I've met in your past there. I mean, he couldn't be... No, well, before Mike went, he did drop some very big hints about how he might be replacing Tony in the area of come. Mike said that, did he? Did well, more or less. No, I don't believe it. I've got to get this signed by everyone before the end of refs. You know, she's going to tell Tony every word we said. Well, if it's not true, it's not going to worry him, is it? You didn't do the cockpit check. I'm not doing the commentary either. Real boy racer car he's got. Except I'm not racing. You've got a life, haven't you, unlike him? No, he's all right. He's not all right. He's a pain in the backside. The best thing about tomorrow is whether I'll pass or fail, at least I know I'm not going to have to spend any more time stuck in a car with him. Do you think he'll get top driver? Of course he will. He spent the whole course telling us he was better than the rest of us. He is good. He's a natural, that's what makes it all worse. There he goes. Well, where's he gone? He must have turned off. Oh, brilliant. You got a map? Twice in one day I've lost the wheels I'm following. That rather proves his point. Sierra One from Sierra Oscar. Go ahead, George. Eight Newby House, Wenall Street. Disturbance, can you deal? On way. It's that same family again. Right. Is it true you're being reassessed tomorrow? Should that? They're talking about it in the canteen. What? That's a matter of interest, though. Do they just reassess you sometime? You know, like, as you get older, you reactions get slower. There's nothing wrong with my reactions. You bully! You get reassessed because they're probably with your driving record. Mine's fine. But you're going back to the driving school. For a one-day front-wheel familiarisation course. I was trained on rear-wheel drives. Not those old Woolsey's with the bells on top. <laughs> so who said I'm past it? I don't think anyone said that exactly. Well, who was there? Oh, Dave and George. Oh, great. Two people who can't even get on a driving course. And Reg. Oh, I'll say no more. <laughs> it's about time. I thought you said you'd show us the way. Well, if you'd have kept up with me, I would have gone some stairs. But Mike uh, does seem to have developed this problem with pursuit driving. There was oncoming traffic. Yeah, but you still give it the old yes, no, yes, no, maybe, didn't you? Never mind, there's always tomorrow. What do you want to drink? A tonic water with ice and lemon. Mike? Same for me. A tonic water? I'm driving. Right then, we'll be starting the proceedings in a couple of minutes' time, and the first round will be entitled Famous Disasters. <coughs> Whose idea was this? What's going on this time? <laughs> it's not Dad's fault. What is it? I don't need you. <laughs> this is crying. Is that the way your wife feels about it? Marie, it's the police. Come away from the door. <laughs> You're right. What do you think? He did this. So he could what you did. I told her, no party. Now <laughs> everyone knows you're 40. You can start acting your age and stop chasing after 18 year olds. That's better with you, you don't be scared. Calm down. Hey, calm down. All right? Just just calm down. Calm down. Get it. I hope he remembers it. <laughs> we'll need to take a statement from you if you want to press charges. Yeah. It will serve him right. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's enough. Outside. Go. Now, the leading scorer in FA Cups in the 1980s was... Ian Rush! I told you. Well, you should have put it down there. Ian Rush. <laughs> now, the first English club to score 6,000 league goals was... Everton! You knew that as well, did you? No. Did you?
Thank you. So how did we do it? Right, we got all these and that one. Nil pois. <laughs> Unless a round comes up on Rowcraft, we're stuffed. Speaking of rounds, whose round is it? I'm alright. Yeah, I'm alright. What do you want? I'll have another pint. You sure? Don't argue about it. There's only me drinking, it's a cheap round. You bloody not. Oh, I'll get it myself. What is he playing at? Don't ask me. If he has much more, he's got no chance tomorrow. Let's get him out of here. Maybe we should get us out of here. What he does is his business. Well, just let him get on with it. We're not here to look after him. Getting into a rut with them isn't going to do us any favours for tomorrow. I can't let him do it. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going. What? So are you. I'm not. You can get off if you want. Come on, you've had enough. I ain't even started yet. Oh, hey, what's going nice on? Nice one, Mike. Come we're, on out. We're leaving, all right? Come on. Get off me. Come on, Dust. Here's your keys. What keys? Your car keys. You're not fit to drive now, and you'll be lucky if you are tomorrow. You think I'm going to let you drive my car? Well, I'll do it. Can you follow us and give me a lift home? Yeah, of course. You think you can handle it? Get in the car. Up the side? Please. Great way to spend your birthday. I thought you didn't want anyone knowing it was your birthday. No, only the one it was. I mean, she written on this sheet with 40 written on it out the window. I mean, it's what's inside that counts. I mean, I don't feel 40. You will do, after spending the night on that mattress. Rich! Yep. Yeah. So it's about you telling Debbie that I'm being reassessed. Oh, yeah, well, that's what Mike said. Well, he's got it wrong, then. Well, you'd have to tell him that. I will. Did you find somewhere to park? Yeah, just down the road. How is he? Oh, he's feeling very sorry for himself, but he's just about used up my stock of sympathy. What is going on? He's lost his bottle. Nice flat. It's spooky. How's he getting this tidy? Who's he? Hasn't he told you about Daddy? I was a black rat chief inspector, top driver. Sun shines out his catalytic converter. <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son, eh? Yeah. They both got traffic police written all over him. <laughs> Following in his father's footsteps. He's trying to. Maybe that's the problem, coming up to the mark. You're going to be all right now, then? Yeah. Well, uh, see you tomorrow. No. What do you mean? I'm not doing it. Oh, don't be stupid. I can't. What's the problem? Look, you're the best driver on the course. They might as well have handed you the top driver certificate at the end of week one. What if I don't get it? You don't get it? Does it really matter? It matters to me. How many people from your nook put in for this course when it came up? About half a dozen. So what are they going to think of you if you bottle it out of the test? What about your family and your father? When you were driving today, I suddenly saw it. What if I make a pig's ear of a following exercise like that tomorrow? Oh, bloody test could go pear-shaped. Bit of bad luck could happen to anyone. Yeah, well, if you don't do the test, you're never going to know. And they're not going to give you another chance if you don't show up. You don't have to tell me that. What is it you want? Do you want us to tell you how good you are again, or what? No. I just can't. You've got to do it, John. I know. Go to bed. Get some sleep. It's all going to look very different in the morning. I don't think so. Good night, John. Yeah. Stupid Burke. He's like a little kid. He always has to be the centre of attention. I've noticed. And it set us up really well for tomorrow. We'll be gone midnight by the time we get back. We really could have done without this. I could do with that tomorrow. Has anyone seen him? No. If he's just overslept, I can go first. Why should you? He knows what time he's supposed to be here. I could do with the two hours less wait. Well, it's up to the examiner, isn't it? How are we this morning? Brilliant. How are you? Well up for it. You know you're on first. I've seen the list and I can read. Good luck. Yeah. 
I'm glad someone's cheerful after last night. The next time we see him, he'll be telling us how easy it was. 80% pass rate. That means that 9 or 10 out of the 12 of us on the course will pass. The chances are 2 out of the 3 in our car. You and him. No, you and him, Michael. You and him. You boys and your fragile little egos, you're all the same. Hey, I'm just like him, am I? Yeah, except you don't drive as well. <laughs> Thank you. Alan! How are you? Fine. Mike told me you'd be here today. Your division's changing vehicle, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, obviously, whatever we're going to get is going to be front-wheel drive. Have you driven one yet? I had a first drive, yeah. What do you think? I don't think that's less clapped out than what we got back at the Nick in a moment. It's got to be good news. How's Mike Jarvis doing? Yeah, he's all right, yeah. You reckon he'll pass? Well, depends on how he gets on today. He won't get through in his course marks. But he's in with a chance. Well, he wouldn't be taking the final drive if he wasn't. Watch out for those Hendon dogs. Four weeks of me driving around here and they've learnt to stay on the pavement. No, not for Hendon dogs. They'll be off the lead and under your wheels. Best place for them. Oi. Good luck. Cheers. He's waiting for you. All right, I'm on way. How'd it go? Fine. I reckon you'd pass. I was always going to pass. Didn't seem too sure about that last night. All through the course, I've been scoring 85% plus. But I've been stuck in a car where you and Jackie have been pushed to make the pass mark. Hang on. Jackie's been doing all right. They've had you both on one to one remedial. That's not exactly done me any favours. We did you a big favour last night. If it wasn't for Jackie and me, you wouldn't even got in a car. No. If it hadn't been for Jackie and you, I would have pissed it. It's like I've been carrying the perrier for the last four weeks. If I'd have been in a different car, I'd have had more practice, gone on to an ILL. Yeah, all right. All right. Where are you going? Out of here. I can do without this. Oi, Mike. What? Do you want some advice about the test? Don't drive like you did yesterday. Why don't you grow up, John? Mike. Hello. We're looking all over for you. A car for you. You all right? Yeah, great. Shouldn't bother reading it till after the test. None of it's too plight. I'll leave it then. Did you tell anyone back at the Nick that I was sent here for reassessment? You're not. I know. So why have you been telling people that I am? I haven't. Well, that's what Reg says. Reg? And do me a favour. But why should he say that? Why does Reg say anything? I know. You know what it's like once these stories get going. I didn't say it, all right? I don't start snide stories. Received. Do you want to lift back? No. I want to be on my own for five minutes. Suit yourself. The examiner will be back in a couple of minutes. Right. How'd it go? It's the same as we've been doing all week. But no dogs. They've been waiting for you. Come and have a coffee and I'll tell you. No, I've had enough coffee for one morning. Who's John in the canteen? It's another reason for staying out here. Has he been winding you up? He spent the last month winding all of us up, hasn't he? Well, now isn't a great time to let it get to you. He hasn't. No? Listen, good luck, Mike. You'll do it. We'll see. Here he is. Go for it. You'll be fine. Inspector Northfield, this is PC Jarvis. If you'd like to get in, we'll run through cockpit drill. Yes, sir. Adjusting the seat position. Checking the mirrors. The handbrake is on. And the gears are in neutral. Mind if I join you? Oh, sure. Did I see you with Mike Jarvis? Yeah. Tony Stapp. I'm with Mike. Same team at Sunhill. Oh, I'm Jackie Summer. We've been cooped up in a car together all through the course. How's it going? I'll let you know at one o'clock. There's a white Vauxhall parked up further down this road. That is the bandit vehicle for the following exercise. When you see it, flash your headlights and allow them to pull out ahead of you. Yes, sir. No oncoming traffic. Roadworks ahead sign. No sign of roadworks. Police driver in white Vauxhall ahead. Flashing headlights and allowing police driver to pull out. Bandit vehicle is accelerating. Selecting more responsive gear. Third gear. Road ahead is clear. Bandit vehicle is braking. Mirror. Brakes. Selecting second gear. Aware of cyclists on left. Aware of pedestrian on right. Slowing down. Going past cyclists. Bandit vehicle is indicating left. Indicating left. Mirror. Brakes. No traffic threatening at junction. First gear moving off. Second gear. Aware of traffic lights coming up. Bandit vehicle is braking. Bandit vehicle is indicating right. Roundabout ahead. Bandit vehicle is still indicating right. Mirror. Brakes. 
selecting second gear, moving out, no traffic threatening, following bandit vehicle, still indicating right, round roundabout, carrying on round roundabout, bandit vehicle is still indicating right, no traffic threatening, bandit vehicle is indicating left, mirror, brakes, second gear. Mike was telling me about you. Nothing libelous, I hope. No, he seemed to think you're all right. There might even have been some sneaking respect. I better go now then, before you find out the truth. Do us a favour and wait while I have this. There's someone I'm trying to avoid. Who's that? Him over there. The third student in our car. Wonder boy. Bad, is he? Well, he can drive, but what you see is when he gets there, that's another story. There's one or two of those around. He's 25 going on 15. Still, maybe he'll improve with age. That seems to be what happens. You reckon? Yeah. Needless to say, he wants to be a black rat. Best place for him. Mike should be about halfway through by now. Volkswagen Golf in lane two, GTI 16 valve. Driver is looking around, has held. Bandit vehicle is moving into lane three. Bandit vehicle is passing an HGV. Direction sign. Next exit, junction five, Aylesbury, A41. Bandit car is moving into lane two. Mirror, signal, moving to lane two. Bandit car moving into lane three. Mirror, signal, moving into lane three. Half mile to exit sign. Flatbed truck and Toyota with elderly lady ahead in lane one. Bandit vehicle is moving into lane two. Mirror, signal. Bandit vehicle is moving into lane one. Flatbed truck in lane one. Bandit vehicle has taken exit. Flatbed truck in lane one. I cannot go with him. Passing exit. That's the end of the following exercise. Drive on to the next exit. Yes, sir. Have you heard yet? No, you're first. Good luck. Cheers. Sit down, Mike. Thank you, sir. I want to talk through the final drive with you, but I'll put you out of your agony first. The pass mark on the test is 75%. You achieved 82. <laughs> Congratulations. You've achieved the advanced driver classification. Thank you, sir. And you weren't far off 86%, which would have given you a class one. Oh, just pleased to have got through. I thought I'd thrown it away at the end there on the motorway. You would have done if you tried to take that exit. You kept your head and made the correct decision. That's what I was looking for. A disciplined drive, maximum safe progress. Well done. Sir. How did Mike Jarvis get on? He's right behind me, you can ask him. I've got it! Brilliant! Class one. I missed it by 3%, but Parson will do me. She's a class one driver. I just scraped it. Uh, she's a star. <laughs> well done, mate. Yeah. I'll see you around sometime. Yeah. You missed getting top driver. You missed getting first class. By 1%. Was the examiner trying to tell him something or is he just a bastard? <laughs> I've got a lot of time for that examiner. <laughs> so, uh, you come for a drink tonight or what? No, sorry, I've got something fixed. Oh, right. Uh, Tone, you on? Sorry, Mike. I've got a date. We class one drivers got to stick together. You two? Yeah, I want to see if he lives up to all you said about him. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, uh, tell you what, mate. Get your skates on. You'll still be in time for ref back at Sunday Canteen. Reg will be looking for company. No, thanks. Oh, wow. Uh, and if he wants to start a rumour about what I'm doing this evening, it's fine by me. I'll see you over at the accommodation block. OK, I'll get him to be serious. <laughs> How'd you do it? Experience. Oh, yeah. Well, and she said she liked the older man. Older or just old? Watch it. I can't believe you're doing this to me. We're not. You're coming too. Is that a wind-up? Well, she said she wanted me to herself, but I talked around. Oh, I don't want to ruin your date, mate. You won't. Stick with me, you might learn something. Oh, yeah, where are we going? Nearest pub. And I'm driving. <laughs>